Well, it's great to be on an aircraft carrier at sea. Um, I can't think of a better place to be. Uh, and, you know, in my own professional background, I spent three years serving on Dwight D. Eisenhower, and I've deployed uh, with Enterprise Strike Group and uh, operate on several other carriers over the course of uh, my career. And it's just terrific. I'm impressed by uh, how the ship's crew is doing at the end of a nine-month deployment, their high morale, their spirits, uh, the professionalism that I've seen from every crew member and the leadership on board. And uh, I'd just like to say it's great to have you in the Mediterranean uh, as you begin to transit home. It's a, it's a great place to be, but ready to get home? I bet you all are ready to get home. Yes, sir. So why are opportunities like the, this visit important in developing relationships between our partner nations? I'm out here today with the chiefs of defense from our NATO allies and some, a minister of defense and several representatives uh, from the Baltic countries. Today on board we have the minister of defense from Latvia, uh, Lithuania, and Estonia. And uh, we also have the minister of defense of Lithuania with us as well as representatives from uh, Poland, the Vice Chief of Defense. Um, it's important for them to see the combat power of the United States Navy, to understand our strong support for the NATO alliance. Uh, when I serve in Europe, I'm not only the commander of U.S. forces in Europe and Africa, but I also wear a NATO hat. I'm the commander of the Joint Forces Command in Naples, Italy, a staff of about 800 NATO officers that direct operations uh, in Europe. And so from that standpoint, it's important for them to see what the Navy can do and, some, and understand the capability. And it's also important for us to demonstrate our commitment to the NATO alliance. Yes, sir. Glad we get to show them that capability. Is there anything you would like to say to the crew of the USS George H.W. I would just like to congratulate you on a successful deployment. Uh, this ship has done everything from engagement to combat operations uh, in Central Command and will do some diplomatic engagements and be good ambassadors of the United States. Uh, here. Uh, again, I'm just extraordinarily proud of each and every crew member and their families that have supported them through this long deployment, through combat operations, through service uh, in the high heat of summer over in the Gulf and then here in the cooler temperatures of the Mediterranean. What each of you represent um, is truly the best of America. Uh, every crew member here is an ambassador when they go ashore, but also every crew member is a professional. That, that has performed at the very highest levels that we expect from our sailors uh, in service around the world. And you all represent the Navy that's a global Navy that is serving in the Pacific and the Middle East, the Mediterranean. And in my particular area, our operations range from the tip uh, at the southern part of Africa all the way up to the Arctic Circle. And, and I guess what I'd like to say is you all represent uh, the very best of a global Navy that's engaged and around the world 24 hours a day.